Everybody cares. Okay. Infinity. Here we go. Don't really have the field clear. Not running any electric reeds in this deck to deal with infinity. Let's see. I mean, we are we're we're probably more swarmy than even infinity deck. Uh, this deck. So let's see how this goes. Uh, definitely need a play. Hoof. Harsh. I think we keep it. Worst case scenario, we'll just buff the torchwood. Not so good though. If he makes a strong play here, like a mini ninja, I'm just gonna bounce it. Hopefully, we'll not see a superpower this turn, or else we're gonna be in major trouble. Just because we have a really, I guess it can happen with a deck like this too. You just don't end up with a with a strong early game. I guess it's really rare though. Whew, that's nice. Uh, I believe for tempo. We do this. Interesting. I'm actually going to play this here because I think the, the, playing the Snapdragon behind this might be good eventually. So we're actually going to do the tempo play. Uh, I did not go through Diamond and Taco. I was already rank 50, so they just put me right into Ultimate League. Uh, you still keep like your rank number. They just kind of changed the actual names of the different ranks and which number goes with which rank so just need some freeze we have all our snow drops set up uh, probably we'll grow shroom this we'll see what he plays if he plays a gravestone here huh, it's harsh problem is grow with growing this is that it, this is just gonna die anyway really sad I think we actually huh Wait a second, this will be a 2-1. Ah, oh, we stick this in front. That's how you do it. There you go. <laughs> That's the play. I just didn't want to sack a 2-5, but now even if this is a smelly zombie, which most likely it is, uh, this will, sir, the 2-5 team up will survive. Oh, yes. That's a good play. There you go. <laughs> We're using our, our gross room to protect our torch wood, but that's the play. Ha! Ah, this is a good... Wow. We actually might just stick this behind here. We could also, um... Barrel of Dead Beards. What? That's useless. Why would... This is gonna die this turn. I don't understand that at all. I mean, I could stick this here just to prevent the damage. No, but we don't want to play this yet. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? No one really cares. Oh, and no one really cares. I think we actually do this. It's kind of weird, but... We stick this here. That'll be set up to kill this dead beard when he pops out. Ah, uh, I should have stuck this here so we could protect it with a snapdragon. Oop, misplay. Yes. <laughs> this definitely should have gone to lane two. Miscalculation. This will kill the fishy imp. This is set up to just die here. Oh, we got a chili. Nice. So it looks like it's going to be Snowdrop Chili. This will buff this enough. We can don't even have to chili this. Uh, yeah, we do. It's probably Smelly Imp. Nothing can do about that. I think we burn the chili here and we Snowdrop here. We're going to want to make a play next turn. Ooh, we could Snapdragon here. Is that good? Nah, nah, developing this is better. Is it? Yeah. question is, what do we freeze? Oh yeah, I guess we just freeze that. Oh, so this does survive. <laughs> so this is going to be... Lane 4 right now is going to be really hard for him to deal with. A 2-4 and a 3-3. Three, three. This will grow... I mean, this is just going to be a smelly zombie, kind of. It might be a bounce, actually. No, oh, it's a bomb. Okay. That's why, by the way, if... Uh, okay. Deadly? Deadly does nothing here. It's just drawing him a card. Everything is... All of his minions that are attacking this turn are going to kill something anyway, and this one dies, so... Captain Deadbeard is so cool. He's not making good plays. So at least we have now... What really did work out is that we have an amazing Snapdragon opportunities here. We can hit either of these lanes. 
so it's, <laughs> it's going to be really hard for to deal with. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be Black IP Snapdragon somewhere here. Snapdragon's really great here. Don't put your 1-1 one -one here. Come on. No, he put it everywhere. That's pretty insane. Uh, so the... Mm, actually, 2 and 4 might be better now. This doesn't take that out anyway. I wonder if this is the right play and we'll just save the snap. Does the Snapdragon really do anything here? It'll hit his face for 5. doesn't really protect any of our minions, so... We could stick it here. It protects us from dying, maybe. No, I think we just do this. Just kind of two more matches on the board that we're winning. Uh, will chickening be kind of bad next turn? It won't be so bad. No, it won't be so bad. We don't really have a play. But our board is strong enough. We don't really need one. We'll see if we can get some freeze. Give this guy a winter melon. Whew. Be bad. Chickening here really isn't so bad. I guess a uh, fireworks chickening would be pretty bad. No, we actually can't, so we're gonna go down here. <laughs> so we just sack this. So we're just gonna be hitting here. This will be a you know triple trade. Uh, we have a nice card advantage. Besides the two cards on the board, we also have one extra card in hand. One of our cards is a Snapdragon, so... Oh yes, <laughs> it's pretty good. Da -da -dum, da -da 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 -dum. No one cares, no one really cares. And you can't chicken this turn or else I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, this will just take this out, we'll hit him for five more. This should hopefully proc this block, one of these ones. Proc that block, oh yes. So this would be three and five, this is lethal unless he can take care of one of these somehow. Nope, that's lethal. Oh yes. Victory! He probably got like plus power in his hand or something like that. Even Gravestone might have done it. Nobody cares. I am your father. Okay, we're up against Faha. I love that name. Sort of. It's like, look, I am your Faha. Why are some parts of the screen green? What are you talking about, man? You mean the the pictures, the 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 super brains? Gooberish, what are you talking about? Okay, get rid of this. I have sports coach. What's up, Jed? By the way, what's up, Jed? Uh, we'll keep this as a good hand. One, two, three, something. You have freeze power? No, that's good. We'll go peas. I do not have any all-star zombies. Ooh, you're stupid. This guy is so stupid. Cat Lady try and turn one. Never a good idea. That's why. If we're going to be able to torchwood and pro probably just buff the torchwood. It's like a good play. What's up, Jad? Jad, everyone's like asking around today. Like, what happened to you? What are we going to see here? A camel crossing? What is going on? Nobody cares. Uh, Rolling Stone? Question is which one do we uh, which one do we buff? I think we buff this one. Because Rolling Stone will kill this, so yeah. Uh, I'm I'm running two. Got sports coaches from the ZMet quests. Uh, yeah, maybe I would run a third one. I do three um, drum majors, camel crossing, so this thing will die a miserable death. Rip cat lady, that's what I say. No! What was that? No, it's a trade now. Oh, he uses smash power on a on a on a stump though, so I'm okay with that, I guess. Hey, we can freeze this thing. Long live the peas. Ooh, we can really freeze it. We can also buff this if we want. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Can another camel crossing? Is it possible? Is such a thing even possible? I think we'll do this. We'll freeze something next turn. Probably doesn't have a second camel crossing. But don't. If he does, then this will survive. This will still die. So it's pretty bad camel crossing here. This will, yeah. And we'll be able to freeze this next turn, so nobody cares. 
Yeah, the second Camel Crossing. How great of a starting hand did this guy have? Two Camel Crossings, Cat Lady, his Smash Power, and a Zookeeper. What a starting hand. Uh, Cat Lady does bite the dust, though. Freezing is really good against pets. Juggernauts, that's right. I love it. That's how I got my third and fourth Juggernaut. What is that, a king? Why would he play a king there? Give me a break. We're going to buff this next turn. King will not get any value here. We're going to we're going to grow shroom this. That's what we're going to do. He he's playing a king on a dying minion. Come on, man. Don't do that. That was a t that's how not to king. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you don't king. Okay, we'll just grow this so he doesn't get any king value. No one cares what that is. What is that going to be? Pogo zombie? Wait, no, he can't have Pogo. Landscaper? Landscaper will die. This is always a good play. Sumo? What in the world is that going to be? Oh, it's rats. Okay, that's fine. The king dies. We are, this is going to be an 8-4. <laughs> now this is a well-polished machine. You can get Juggernauts, yeah. Juggernauts is one of the best rares you get from these quests. I guess the size for Toxic Waste Imp. <laughs> toxic Waste Imp is better than Juggernaut. Sorry. Even the Juggernaut's are awesome. What they're doing, and then you see, just see one player totally destroy them. I don't think it would be fun to see an NBA team play against a, you know, like a pack of school kids or something like that. There's just nothing fun about that. Maybe that would be cool. <laughs> Alright, got one, got two, got three. Uh, I think we keep this. Good hands. The great thing about running zoo decks, by the way, is that you almost always start off with a really decent hand. Uh, great thing against Super Brains, against Super Brains with the Peapod, is he has no way of removing this. Zero way of ways of removing this this turn. Um, on turn one, his only one drop trick is a smoke bomb, and he didn't play a minion. So teleport you can't use on turn one. No way in the world. So we could do the Black IP here. Let's see what he does. The other option is we could we could boost this and really get these going. Actually, I want to save this for the... Mm, yeah, let's just do this. Kind of safe. So this is going to be out of control. We really could have bu buffed this. Then we would have a 3-3 three, three and a 4-4 four, four on the board, which is better than this. Oh, <laughs> so harsh. Okay, we'll do that play this turn. We'll probably freeze something. This is probably a smelly zombie. Kind of sad. We could have actually dry, dry muscle sprout. It's a little too late for that now. Question is, do we develop one more P here? Or do we save it for the muscle sprout? I think we actually develop this. That was a smelly zombie, of course. So we can muscle sprout and just freeze this next turn. That's a fine play. Now this will be a four four. This will be a two two. We might re we'd really like like to save. What is this? Which is he going to take out? Take out the black IP. No, take out that one. Okay, black IP becomes a 3-4. Thank you. It actually gives us an open lane. Whew. Gross room. So, let's see what happens here. This might be another smelly zombie. It might not be, though. What else does he have for two? He has Drone Engineer, he has um, Gentleman Zombie. I, I don't know, is playing a Smelly Zombie smart for him here? Should we just take out the Smelly Zombie? Should we just play this? Maybe we just play this. Worst, comes, worst case scenario, he'll, we'll be taking out the Smelly Zombie, and something tells me this is going to be a Gentleman Zombie, so... Oh! No such case at all. Wow, why did he place this in front of here? I guess that was the one he didn't want to take out. So buffing this was fine. There's really no good play for him here. Uh, lane 4 is pretty bad. I'll probably just stick it in lane 2. Didn't lane 4. I don't know. Bonus attack? No, he only has one left. What is this guy doing? Nobody cares. What's up, Mio? <laughs> right. 
Ooh, smoke bomb. Okay. Half decent play. This grows, though. <laughs> Still really destroying this guy. We played our peapots maybe slightly slower than we could have. We are down to eight, so we gotta watch out. This is really good, though. The combo. Oh, yes. I don't want to get rocketed, actually. This could get racketed either way, so yeah, let's just do it like this. That's fine. Give them multiple targets to racket. That's kind of the key. And we'll keep this alive. Prevent two damage there. Should block sometime soon. <coughs> Deadly? Okay, so that affects one of her, his cards. Just a fishy imp. Buffs that. This does a. Uh, okay, so it really wanted to take this out. Which is okay. We will block the. block this turn. And if we get our P power, we win. Basically. No, we didn't proc the block. Come on. Now the P power is bad. Freeze. We'll freeze something next turn. Oh, do we want a card? Nah. I think being able to freeze an optional play is better. Who grow? Not bad. So we'll freeze. We'll see what we get. Really, another minion is good here. Uh, this is better. <sighs> I think we do this. This and Carver is not so dangerous. I'm happy this is frozen because we just don't want to get bursted down here. We just need to hit him for two. So this is lethal if you can't deal with one of these. We need a mm, smoke bomb that one. Okay. Really desperate by him. This will proc his block. What's in the box? Strong cards. So he's gonna have to deal with this board. It's a real, real task for this guy to survive this turn. We just need to hit him once. What's in the box? Card drop. Pretty good. This is actually the best card we could have gotten. Maybe Banana Sorus Rex would have been better. Yeah. I'm just scared. What can he do? Bonus attacks. I kind of just like every lane being clogged. I think two bonus attacks. I think we do this. At least it keeps that alive, you know. Kind of for sure here. It's okay. Smelly zombie. It's a trade. And yeah. Should have lethal here. Let's go. Oh, yeah, there's no more insta blocks. Apparently, there's no insta blocks in the game anymore, so that's like guaranteed lethal. Oh, yes. Got him. Something I forgot to talk about at the beginning of the stream, I was kind of planning on it. Uh, we haven't seen insta blocks. I mean, let me know, you guys. We have not seen an insta block since really the update, uh, the last update. So, you know, they've been talking about removing it for a while, they've been putting out survey questions and stuff, and. Uh, I think <laughs> enough people complaining about it finally got to them that they took out insta blocks. Next thing they need to do is just make the block meter really stable, like clockwork. Every fifth shot, there's a block. That would be amazing. It seems like a lot of people are level 49 for some reason. Here we go. Uh, do we keep card drawn or starting hand? I think not actually in this deck. Don't need two of these. Okay, pretty decent. Two, three, four. Got a lot of freeze, so a lot of removal. If he starts going heavy at the end, definitely be able to deal with that. Do I freeze this to prevent the damage? Nah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's nice. Oh wow, got the snow drop. What a great pickup. So we'll see what he plays here. Uh, this is either going to be a newspaper, a conga, or a rats or a squirrel. I bet it's a newspaper. Yeah, I think we just developed this. We don't really have a good snowdrop play here. Do we let this hit us? I think we do actually. Charge our block meter. Conga. Okay. Definitely will hit that. Good play. So we have a couple of different plays we can do here. We could grow this. Uh, we could f f turn something into a freeze factory here. I think so. What is he going to do with one? A lightning bolt? Problem is, I play this, I feel like it's going to get removed by a plumber. This is a dancing deck. I think we'll do this play later. I think in the meantime we do this. We get this out of range. Uh, we don't want to get lightning bolts, so we're going to freeze through this. And let's see what's in the box. I don't think double freezing here is a good idea. I mean, once this... He can't take this out. Even a lightning bolt won't take this out. We want to save. Yeah, let's just save this. We could, like, plumber this guy or something like that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's why I didn't want to play the snow drop in the snow pee that turn, because he would have just plumbered plumber the snow the snow pea and I would be dead right now. That would be the end of the game. So it looks like grow and freeze. What is he gonna do with four? Chickening? Looks like chickening. Um if it's chickening I do this. Yep. Go chickens! He could have vitamin Z. Vitamin Z here won't even kill this, so. Double plumber? No, he's setting up for the chickening next turn. And pass. Ooh, he had sizzle, okay. That's alright. So we should get some value out of the um out of this. We're gonna start just freezing things and destroying them. Winter squash. Still plenty of room to get salty in this deck, so it looks like it's going to be pea pod, freeze. What is this going to be? Mm, no one cares. Pea pod, grow, freeze. That looks really good. Get some freeze value while well, we can. Die. Alright, what's going to be in here? A bomb? No, a conga. So, uh, he could take out my mushroom. Nobody cares. This is a good trade for us. Oh, yes. I I feel like he still is going to have a chickening somewhere. Uh, definitely don't do this yet. This will be good to protect this winter squash. You <laughs> really don't need the protection. Ooh, Bananasaurus. Nice. <sighs> what do we do? Something tells me we're gonna Bananasaurus and freeze this turn. Looks pretty good. I think we're taking a little too much damage right now, so we'll do this. Oh, uh, we'll use the freeze. <laughs> Love the little animation when we play a legendary. But, you know, we are really. Very commanding lead right here. We'll save this just in case he plays like a Swabby or something here, but... Swabby launcher. Looks like we got this one. What's up, amazing guy? So, it's probably going to be Groshroom this turn. Grow probably the Bananasaurus Rex. Doesn't really matter, though. Huh, <laughs> there. Is there a way to double grow the Bananasaurus Rex? Uh, this is lethal, so we're always doing this. This is very lethal. Uh, don't avoid a freeze this. Too bad we used all of our freezes up already. Uh, growing this doesn't help. I 
think we just don't want that strike through to happen. We're at 9 health. So just in case he flags this or something like that, I think that's fine. This should be lethal here. 2 damage to you. Okay. Come on. No! That's what they have to get rid of also, these triple blocks. Should just be, come on, should just be even. So he's gonna survive here actually. Oof, we're actually not necessarily going to win this game anymore. We do have a nice card advantage, <laughs> including a really strong card on the board that's just growing. Let's just play it all. Oh, chickening? Eh. No, this is okay. And if that was his play... Trade. So I just need one more minion here. Torchwood, not bad. Let's stick the Torchwood here. That way, if he destroys this one, this will grow. Pretty decent. What is he going for? Why would he play this dry? Does he realize he just has no chance? Is there anything he could do that's crazy here? Ah! Wait a second. What if he has Maniacal Laugh in his hands? Maniacal Laugh is, um, no, it's still one off of Lethal. What could he have for six? Anything, you guys? Uh, he could, no, he has a, probably maybe a Locust in his hand. So we'll, we'll do it like this. Maniacal is not lethal. Anyway, this would kill him before. This is guaranteed lethal here, so. <laughs> oh, he had Maniacal. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> and yeah, this actually wouldn't have survived this P. That's why I couldn't play it here. Nice try. It was one off lethal anyway. We, we, you know. It's all theoretical. How much damage he theoretically could have done before for sure losing that turn.